Well, facing a judge late this afternoon, a longtime Baltimore City police officer pled guilty to breaking the law while on the job. He admits to planting a fake gun at a crime scene. WJC is live. Kimberly Eaton was inside the courtroom, and she has more on what happened. Kimberly? And Denise's attorney says the former police sergeant decided it was time to own up to his mistakes, telling a judge himself today, quote, I do agree, I'm guilty. Former Baltimore Police Sergeant Keith Gladstone stood silently outside federal court Friday afternoon, minutes after pleading guilty to breaking the law while on the job. His attorney with him saying Gladstone felt it was time to face serious mistakes made during his 24 years in law enforcement. And he wanted to take responsibility, and he wanted to pay his debt to the citizens of Baltimore City when he wasn't doing the right thing. Including planting a gun at a crime scene back in 2014 to help cover for officers who'd run over and seriously injured a suspect. Court documents say the now notorious gun trace task force leader Wayne Jenkins called Gladstone in a panic. Testimony Friday revealing Gladstone and another officer were on duty but at dinner when the phone call came. And that they went to a home and got a BB gun bringing the fake weapon to the scene. Gladstone reportedly a mentor to Jenkins, who is now doing prison time. There have been lots of accusations about lots of things, and one thing I'd like to point out is that Mr. Gladstone was not a member of the gun task force. Gladstone sentencing is set for September, but he still sorry, faces Justin, a separate civil suit. Umar Burley alleges the sergeant planted drugs on him in 2010 after he fled from officers. We're talking about the Baltimore City Police here. You know what I mean? And I've had run-ins with them. And the run-ins that I've had with them always been on the shady side. Burley drove away from a traffic stop, escalating to a police chase through northwest Baltimore. Ultimately, it ended in a deadly crash, killing an 87-year-old man who was not at all connected to the case. And prosecutors say last year Gladstone met with another officer in a swimming pool, trying to ensure that that officer wasn't wearing a wire while they talked about today's case. Gladstone is now facing up to 10 years in prison. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.